On 30th March, Axis Bank, India's third largest private sector lender, snapped up Citibank's consumer business in India for $1.6 billion. The all-cash deal included credit cards, retail banking, wealth management, and consumer loans. The transaction also included the sale of Citicorp Finance India Limited's consumer business. Citicorp is a non-bank financial company under Citi. Its asset-backed financing business includes commercial vehicle and construction equipment loans as well as the personal loans portfolio. The transaction, however, excluded Citi's institutional client businesses in India. In a statement, Citi said that the company remains committed on serving institutional clients in India and globally. Axis Bank will have access to the large and affluent customer franchisee of Citibank, having a bouquet of fee-oriented and profitable segments that include quality credit card portfolio, affluent wealth management clientele, along with a strong consumer lending portfolio, the bank said in a statement. Citibank India serves 2.9 million retail customers. It has 1.2 million bank accounts and caters to 3,000 corporate clients. So, what are the immediate implications for Axis Bank? It would give access uh, to over 25 lakh new customers, which typically would constitute higher monthly spends per card as well. And one of the challenges that uh, Axis would face is how are they going to ensure stickiness of such clients by offering wider range of card products, facilities, benefits, and newer tie-ups with other service offerings for these card customers. I mean, remember, HNI customers keep demanding more and more, and in this, Axis is going to be tested. This acquisition would definitely enhance Axis Bank's wealth management business, that's Burgundy and Burgundy Private. Uh, it would ha help Axis negotiate better distribution fee margins across its pool of assets it sells. The challenge would be how much of advisory services versus distribution of products it intends to undertake. Also, the city India's consumer business, uh, especially their lending book, which is over 18,000 crores, uh, is actually in the differentiated consumer space than that Axis currently serves. So it would help them definitely in increasing their net interest margin as well as improving their CASA deposits. From branch network perspective, this acquisition won't turn the needle for Axis because it already has a large network compared to city. City's credit card portfolio is largely made up of high net worth customers. Ever since reports emerged of the deal, banking analysts indicated this fact as one of the key attractions for Axis Bank. Average spends per card for Citibank remains 1.4 times higher than the industry average. It's also a question of scale. As of February 2022, Axis Bank had 8.6 million credit cards outstanding and Citi had 2.554 million. Combined, they form the fourth largest credit card portfolio in Indian banking. So, it becomes clear that the deal will enable Axis Bank to close in on ICICI Bank, its nearest competitor. As of February, ICICI Bank had a credit card portfolio of around 12.77 million cards. Axis Bank Chief Executive Amitabh Chaudhary called the acquisition a deal of a lifetime. According to media reports, the buyout will give the bank access to 2.5 million Citibank customer cards and result in an increase of around 31% to its existing card base. Customers of Citibank, however, can continue to enjoy all the rewards, privileges and offers to which they were earlier entitled. The Axis City transaction is expected to close in the first half of the calendar year 2023, subject to requisite regulatory approvals. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.